check in with our eyewitness weather watchers now and they're seeing temperatures only in the 70s, but that's misleading. If you look at these temps, it looks like it feels cool and comfortable outside. It actually feels pretty darn sticky. The atmosphere is almost completely saturated with dew points in the 70s as well. So we'll check in with some of our weather watchers here. First with Bill. He's in Levittown, 77 degrees, relative humidity at 83%. He's had about a half an inch of rainfall at his location. 75 degrees as we move to the north. Check in with Lou Rue. He's up in Eagleville, 75 degrees. I love Lou's storm chaser photo. I know Lou's one of our, our number one storm chasing weather watchers. Walter is down in New York, Delaware. He's at 77 degrees. Got a mainly cloudy sky and again, 92% relative humidity. It has been just a steamy day. And you can see our weather watchers sharing some hints of Halloween already. We were looking at costumes in the target aisle yesterday. My kids are begging for one, but we still have plenty of time to go. It's not even fall yet. Starting to get in the spirit already. And Ed also showing this tree, which is almost devoid of leaves. Little signs that fall is on the way. But let's take a look at what's going on outside right now. Certainly not much of a hint of fall just yet. It's been a little bit on the cool side for the past week or so, but still pretty humid. And we've been dealing with cloudy conditions and a lot of rain. We cleared it out a bit this weekend, but Definitely not that cool, crisp fall weather we're all looking forward to. That may head our way as we start fall this weekend. But right now we're looking at the remnants of Hurricane Florence, and you can see it's got some pretty nasty thunderstorms right here over portions of Virginia and Maryland. That's where a tornado watch is in effect. This line of storms moving toward Richmond has a number of tornado warnings associated with it. A tornado watch is in effect for the eastern shore of Maryland right down through Richmond, Virginia until 10 o'clock tonight. Locally, though, we're not seeing much in the way of strong thunderstorms, more just waves of showers. The heaviest is north and west from the Lehigh Valley up toward the Poconos, where some pockets of heavier downpours continue to move on through. But as we head through tomorrow, thunderstorms will impact our area as well. Here's a look at future weather again showing these storms. Here's Mount Pocono. Heavier rain tonight. We've got scattered showers north and west here as we go through about 10 o'clock. That keeps moving north. And then tomorrow morning, maybe a little bit of a break in the action. This is 3 a.m. A couple of scattered showers here and there. 8 a.m. Scattered showers, but then heavier downpours as we head through tomorrow afternoon and evening. Look at this rainfall, and we could see some potentially localized flash flooding, as well as some stronger severe thunderstorms with the threat for gusty winds as well. 7 p.m. It heads down the shore, and then by late tomorrow night, we start to see skies clear out and things looking a whole lot better as we get into the day on Wednesday. So again, remnants of Florence could produce the threat for some torrential downpours, possibly a strong thunderstorm, much like what we're seeing in Virginia tonight. I don't know if we have the tornado risk here. We're not going to have quite as much rotation as those storms come through, but we will have the threat for localized downpours and strong gusty winds. And as when all is said and done, many spots could check in with over an inch of rain, 1.76 inches in Redding, 1.36 inches in Philadelphia, some potentially higher amounts near the Poconos, where some spots may see over two inches by tomorrow evening. Notice the lightest amounts are down the shore and into Delaware, where most spots will end up with less than an inch of rain. So again, right now, it is warm. It is steamy. Temperatures are in the 70s with dew points to match out there. Dew points in the 70s as well. Overnight, we'll see temperatures drop once again into the low upper 60s, really low 70s in the city, upper 60s for the suburbs. It will be breezy at time with scattered downpours tomorrow. Again, all day on and off through the day, rounds of heavy rain, potentially strong thunderstorms, 82 degrees the daytime high and your eyewitness weather seven day forecast. Well, it looks a lot better. Once we get into Wednesday, we'll clear things out. Sunshine, warm and dry. Thursday looks good. And then we start fall on Saturday with breezy conditions and a high of 71, a cool down coming Sunday into Monday.